in this environment. Right. How dare I think of actually asking for a raise? But, you know, I mean, you have to be strategic about this and really make a case. Lay it out before you walk into your boss's office and say, give me more money. You do. You better have um, this new uh, special project I create. You want to present them with the list or not really? You can just go in. It really I'm engaged. I'm here. I want to do. Then after this recession, you're, you're going to do more work than before. Probably. It is expected. But at the same time, you want to ask before the annual budgets are done so that there actually is room to make decisions. Now, how do you cope with that? How do you, you deal with always that you're not valuable to the company they might not have the money lee good tips thanks thanks so much appreciate it all right well you have seen the ads on websites work from home earn the myth that people should just stay put stay invested even when we have the roller coaster ride the swings of volatility in the market why is that a myth well, look what's going on and call the highs. So you don't know when to get out or necessarily when to get in. You talk about the importance in this book about gut, of gut checks, mm -hmm. of really being honest with yourself about what you can afford to do. Explain that. Well, when you at cars, you've got mortgages are a huge expense, people's cars, etc. And, and there's often this thought that you should buy a car, don't lease a car, you're throwing away your money. You disagree with that. Well, again, better for yourself. And you can get the little hanging tree with the new car smell. Right, exactly. It smells like the new <laughs> Spray car. Spray some new scent in there. It's true. <laughs> I mean, personally, I would just say stay away from. Not so much, you say. You have to be disciplined about using this approach, but it can work very well for you if you have somebody with lumpy in income. One of the most important things, and you write about this, is talking about your 401k plan and, and how a former boss of yours told you, uh, invest until it hurts. So tightening their purse strings, a lot of excess <laughs> hotel rooms on the market. So you can get some great discounts on hotel rooms, right? I mean, in certain cities, though. Well, that's true. Uh, look, we've got a couple things going. Hotel prices hit rock bottom. Uh, they are still dropping a bit in some of these markets. I think these 10 markets are the places where you might still be able to get some even better bargains really? than we saw up there. And you know, we've yeah. talked about it before. You you can always sort of try to negotiate and haggle and get the, the best sure. hotel deal. But, you know, in terms of hotel upgrades, yeah. I always check in and I ask, oh, do you have a nicer room? I mean, it's worth asking, right? You can get some upgrades. Ask when you... Help you not only get free rooms, discounts, and also upgrades. Absolutely. There's a couple of ways to do that. If you have a hotel-branded credit card, whether it's MasterCard or Visa, if... It's expensive time for them to travel, so maybe they just stay at home for the... comes to upgrades that mark thanks so much and get that upgrade get that upgrade just ask just ask <laughs> just, just do it all right and folks